Folks, be careful who you trust. I'll get into that and then the latest home prices and insights for the Peel and Durham region for week ending November 27th, 2024. I was speaking to somebody recently. They, they called me on behalf of somebody else. The other people, the, the potential sellers, they didn't speak English or, or their English was very poor, let's just say there. So their friend was calling me and was acting as translator. And, and I ended up meeting with them and the translator was there and they're looking to sell their home because they couldn't afford to live in this property anymore. And they had recently bought it. It wasn't that long ago that they bought it, about a, a year, a year and a half or so. And when I, I got into this situation of like what's changed in their life that I, I'm assuming they could afford. I mean, they did buy it, right? And you, you figured that they bought it knowing they can afford it. Well, basically almost from day one, the, the father was working nonstop, it seems seven days a week. The mother was also had, had two jobs working practically seven days a week. And their son, there was three people on title, three people in the family. Their son was constantly working. It was difficult to come up with a time where they could all be home for me to meet with them. And so I'm there, I'm speaking to them. And what had happened, they're, they're fairly new to Canada. They came with this money. They had jobs right away, um, but they wanted to buy a house. And so somebody from their community that speaks their language helped them. And as I got more and more into it, the home they bought, they never should have purchased this home. This was a big, big mistake. There was lots of issues with the property, first of all, that they weren't aware of. A simple home inspection would have uncovered these and they never had a home inspection. I don't see how they could qualify financially to get the mortgage, but somehow they have a mortgage to, to, to pay for this. It's a very expensive, expensive mortgage. And, and there was a bunch of other things to the transaction that happened that, I mean, the red flags were there, but they trusted somebody in their community. The whole point of this is that I'm not saying not to trust somebody in your community. But the reason they looked past a lot of these that were obvious red flags is because they had an extra trust, an, an extra willing to, to feel good about that they're being led the right way. Extra because this person was from their community, knew other people within that community. And the real reason I'm telling this story is just because somebody is from your community, speaks your language, could be from the same town, back home, whatever country you've come from, could be part of your church group, could be, you know, a, a, a colleague's brother at work. Just because there's a certain connection where you feel there should be more trust, doesn't mean there's going to be. And, and that's where I often see, because I, I get these calls often from all sorts of different communities, all sorts of different language, all sorts of different cultures, where I could see from my end that they were taken advantage of because of that extra bond, that extra trust that was built for those reasons. And so I'm saying this because who you hire really does matter. And just because they're from your community, your church group, whatever bonds you together, could be your neighbor, doesn't mean you're gonna get the kind of service and professional advice that you deserve. So just be careful about having too much trust that you ignore the warning signs. 
If you feel this video can help somebody you know, please pass it along. If you get value from what we're talking about, subscribe. And if you want to speak with me about your real estate situation, selling, buying, it's really simple. There's a link to my calendar here, another one below this video in the description. Click on that, book a time that's convenient for you, and we'll talk about whatever's on your mind. Now, let's get into the numbers. Folks, in this show, we're focused on the detached market in Mississauga, Brampton, and the Durham region. But at the end of this video, there'll be a link on the screen for a property we have for sale in Kitchener. Beautiful detached property. Check that out at the end of this video. Here we go. Here's a quick summary for Mississauga, Brampton, Durham region. For Durham region, I'm using Pickering, Ajax, and Whitby, that area, as my Durham sample. Here's a line, summer, this is the fall market going this way. When we compare to beginning of the fall market to where we are now, and just talking solely on average sold prices, Mississauga prices are down, Brampton prices are down when compared to the beginning of the fall market. Fall market. Durham prices seem to be up. We're gonna start off with Mississauga, again, for detached properties. Week ending November 27, 28 detached properties were sold. Two of those were at $2 million or more. Sales seem to be trending down. Look, for the fall market, we see it almost every year. Sales go up and at some point they turn and they go the other way headed towards the end of the year. That's just a typical fall market scenario when it comes to sales. That's what we're seeing here right now in Mississauga. Average sold price is $1,389,000, a bit lower than what we're used to seeing in Mississauga. Compared to last year, one three eight nine is 3% lower than where we were this time a year ago. The median price is 8% lower. Now the dotted line, that's a four week moving average. And if we, we look back and we kind of look at the four week moving average, the way I've put it on the chart here, Looks like average price and medium price, but mostly average price has been trending up right up until November 13th. But then we've had a couple of weeks now, both for average price and medium price, where prices have come down. The four week moving average is not really taking these last couple of weeks really into account yet, just slightly. So we will see, and we're starting to see it here for this last week, where that four week moving average starts to go the other way, depending on what happens over the next few weeks, naturally. 28 were sold, only two, 11% sold at list price or more. Listings are coming down, active listings are trending down. Months of inventory seems to be trending up. We're now at 5.2 months of inventory. Over the last three months, there's only two weeks where months of inventory was higher than five months of inventory. This week, November 27th being one of them. That's Mississauga. Here's Brampton. 46 detached properties were sold. One of those was at $2 million or more. When we look at 46, if you remember back to the Mississauga chart, sales were going up and then coming down. Mississauga, for the whole fall market, I've got over here September 11th, 46 kind of seems normal, although sales have been up and down, hovering around the 50 mark on a weekly basis. So we're not seeing the up and down, it's more flat. 46 were sold. Average sold price is 1,150,000. Although it's up and down on a weekly basis, it kind of looks like when I see it from this angle that prices may be slightly trending down since the beginning of October. Compared to last year, 1150 is 3% lower than where we were this time a year ago. The median price is 4% lower. If we look at the dotted line, it does show both median and average prices trending downward. 46 were sold, almost a quarter of them, 24% sold at list price or more. 
listings trending down. Active listings trending down. Months of inventory pretty flat, although it's higher than the last couple of weeks. We're sitting at 3.7 months of inventory. If we kind of look at the last four or five weeks, it's, it's kind of normal right now to be in that range in Brampton. Here's Durham region. Remember, I'm using Pickering, Ajax, and Whitby as my Durham sample for week ending November 27th. 32 detached properties were sold. No property sold at $2 million or more. 32, it's a little bit on the lower side compared to what we've been selling on a weekly basis since the end of October. Uh, average sold price seems to be up over the last few weeks. It's now sitting at 1,125,000. 1,125 is 3% higher than where we were this time a year ago. The median price is 7% higher. 32 were sold, a little over a third. 34% sold at list price or more. Listings coming down, active listings coming down. Months of inventory up a bit. We're now at 2.9 months of inventory. Here's a quick summary, four months of inventory. You're gonna experience everything. There's some people that will sell in Mississauga and buy in the Durham region. Other people will sell in Durham, buy in Brent. People moving all over the place. You're going to experience either a balanced market or a buyer's market depending on which neighborhood, which price point you're looking to buy and sell in. Who you hire matters. Have an awesome day.